hey guys so i am reinstalling my spring twist this time following the curl pattern and i'm just going to give you some tips on how to avoid dryness with synthetic hair let's go So you guys know I have had these spring twists installed into my hair however I complained about them just being very very dry and that's because we just didn't follow the curl pattern when installing them. So I enjoyed them for a bit and then I took them out and pretty much rocked my own hair in mini twists like this and then I decided to try and reinstall them this time following the curl pattern. So I did most of my hair off camera. I just pretty much recycled the same parts no you know not no magic here <laughs> um however i've got a couple left and i just decided i'll come show you guys how i am installing them and also just to give you some tips on how to avoid dryness girl particularly when using synthetic hair that is like kinky you know marley braid spring twist that kind of um hair Okay, as you can see, most of my hair is already done. I decided to make them a little bit chunkier just because, you know, I don't have the time. I'm doing it myself this time around. And it's just more convenient for me and the time that I actually have afforded to me at this point in time. But before I show you how to install and moisturize, I just wanted to quickly show you how to unravel mini twists on dry hair. I have shared a full video how I do this. There's a few things you just need to have in place which is having your hair moisturized lubricated and stretched and dry of course and then you start at the roots and just unravel all the way until the ends if you get a knot as you just saw just pull the hair out of the knot and that's it it's going to unravel itself and all you have to do is now go in there and finger detangle and as usual i just start from the base or the roots of my hair to the ends which is very different to wet detangling when you wet detangle your hair you pretty much start from the ends all right guys so if you if you really want a detailed video on how to do this go and check out my other video on how i um, detangle mini twists on dry hair my hair seems to really thrive in mini twists particularly with just my own hair but i am trialing out particularly with synthetic hair however guys the process that it takes to stretch my hair really does cause damage on my very fragile very kinky and coily hair i have had to trim my hair again after removing the previous twist which i'll talk about in in a different video but guys take care when installing these um, synthetic or added hair uh, styles all right so here we have one piece of the spring twist i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize this hair with my intensive hydration uh, milk from shea moisture i am quite generous with the product and i just apply everywhere from you know tip to tip i guess in this case i have shown you in previous videos how to cleanse the hair i use pretty much vinegar to cleanse the hair before i install it go check those videos out um, anyway guys what you see me doing here is adding a mixture of my leave-in my glycerin distilled water and olive oil i have shared with you guys this recipe or this mixture in previous videos but as you can see on the screen those are the amounts that are in the bottle um, the applicator bottle it's definitely easier to try and part the hair before applying the moisture so don't follow what i'm doing um, however it's not impossible the other thing is that you don't have to use this mixture um, to moisturize your hair you can actually go ahead and just apply an oil i would recommend you know olive oil or even castor oil honestly guys because this hair is super super drying however i wanted the glycerin in there so that even the synthetic hair has got a humectant all right we're not about to have dry hair this time all right i am not a braider i'm not an expert with twisting but here's what i do i place the added hair in between the two pieces of my real hair and twirl each piece together with the synthetic hair before I start to twist. This is the key to having roots that are somewhat firm and also for 
like the synthetic hair to not be pulled off from the roots if you know what i mean and then i just go ahead to twist now there's two ways of twisting of course you can just sort of twist the hair you know against each other however you can twirl and twist at the same time in this particular footage i'm just twisting so i'm not twirling the hair i'm just going ahead to actually twist the hair against itself now i will show you with the next twist um how to twirl and twist now the twirling and the twisting gives you a more defined uh neater look uh maybe thinner looking hair even um more compact twist really and if you just twist against each other without uh twirling or twisting the individual hairs you get a more fuller more voluminous uh, more thicker result so this one is a little bit on the thick side i'm just sort of relaxing it to you know give it some uniformity like i said i'm not a perfect braid or a twister but i'm just i guess showing that you don't have to be perfect in order to do this all right Let's show you how to do this twist now using the twirling method where we want it to now be compact and really quite neat. Okay, so I'm placing the synthetic hair in between the twists and then I am twirling each individual piece, as you can see there, all right, before twisting against each other. Can you see that? So twirl each individual twist before twist, uh, twirling each individual part before twisting against each other. And then the rest of the way I am twirling and twisting so i'm not just twisting i'm twirling each individual one and then twisting and i'm going to show you a comparison in a minute uh, between this one and the previous one that i just did but that's pretty much all there is to it guys i tried my best to follow the curl pattern this time and i think it's super essential to do that particularly with spring twists because otherwise it becomes too rough too rough just too dry too hard just i think it's quite damaging actually if you don't follow the curl pattern so try to follow the curl pattern if you don't or if you're not able to just i don't know try to twist tightly so that it's not loose and sort of you know causing dreads i don't know <laughs> just twist in the direction of the the curl all right so here we go this is the difference as you can see the one i just did is thinner uh, finer more defined um, lighter looking and the other one is fuller okay um, the one that i just did the smaller one the one that's more compact can actually last longer all right so you can actually end here there is absolutely no need for you to go ahead and do the next steps that i'm going to show you however particularly because i one recycle my parts number two i'm not the neatest twister number three my roots are pretty loose so this hair is not tight at all actually number four i use quite a bit of glycerin so there's a lot of frizz in my hair my edges are still growing up up growing out <laughs> from postpartum and like i said the roots are not that neat so some gel can help to actually just piece everything together and make your style look a little bit neater i am using age booster the pineapple one i find it to actually be quite nice it smells really good and it does the job i mean any gels have not actually lasted that long on my edges and i believe it's because of the high glycerin content in my hair however you know if I sleep in a scarf, I'm usually okay for a week. All right, so I just go ahead and place my silk scarf for a few minutes, and then I take it out to reveal the final results. Cute, right? I hope you like them. I definitely like them. They're not heavy. They're not too full. They're actually quite nice, light, and still looking kind of full, if you know what I mean. 
I just wanted to talk about recycling parts for a little bit. I've done a dedicated video about this. However, a lot of people say to me, oh, you tell people not to use combs and brushes, but you use combs to part your hair. When I talk about eliminating combs and brushes, guys, I mean eliminating combs and brushes for the purposes of detangling, okay? If you want clean parts, of course, you're going to need to use some kind of a rat tail comb to make neat parts. However, once done, you can just go ahead to reuse the same parts that you created initially. I hope this video inspires you to try and do your own hair because then you can really be in control of you know the gentleness the prep you know how tight your style is and you know you don't have to be changing styles up you know as often as we've been led to believe and a lot of people say oh just wearing twists is boring but here i am showing you guys some um options or some styles i guess that you can rock just with this one style just with your twist you can put in an updo you can have up half up half down you know there's so many different ways of actually wearing the same style so you don't need to feel like oh you'll be restricted or you're just gonna be boring all right guys until next time i'll see you in the next one bye